As Hong Kong erupts in pro-democracy protests again, the fate of its chief executive, Carrie Lam, hangs in the balance. Ever since Lam assumed the reins of the former British territory in 2017, Hong Kong has massively tilted towards the Chinese Communist Party as the latter moves at a menacing speed to strip off the city of its autonomy. This has been possible only because of Lam's total devotion to the CCP. On the contrary, President Tsai Ing-wen, who took control of Taiwan in 2016, has fearlessly taken on the CCP and protected Taiwan's interests, and her brilliant handling of the pandemic has further enhanced the stature of Taiwan, which has delivered a crushing blow to Xi Jinping's dream of taking back Taiwan by force, if necessary. While Carrie Lam and Tsai Ing-wen took over the reins of Hong Kong and Taiwan respectively at almost the same time, both leaders have taken starkly different routes when it comes to protecting the values of democracy. Hong Kong is erupting again after the introduction of the controversial national security legislation. Under Hong Kong's basic law, the internal security is a matter of the local government of the city. However, Beijing now wants to usurp this role. The move is aimed at protesters of Hong Kong, whom China calls terrorists. The legislation would effectively signal the death knell of the one country, two systems principle, which China had promised to the United Kingdom when it took over the reins of Hong Kong in 1997 and pledged to keep the city semi-autonomous until 2047. There is an increasing fear that Hong Kong will lose its independence. Being the leader of Hong Kong, one would expect Carrie Lam to stand up for her citizens. However, she has pledged to fully cooperate with Beijing over the national security law. On the other hand, Taiwan is also battling to remain independent with Tsai Ing-wen standing as a thorn in the CCP's dream to take back Taiwan. In her first term itself, Tsai managed to greatly irk China as in a bold move she dialed Donald Trump in December 2016 and secured the country's first American fighter jet deal in over 30 years. China has been trying to diplomatically isolate Taiwan, but Tsai has been striving hard for international recognition and countries have started to realize the importance of Taiwan. The USA recently passed the Taipei Act, which will see the United States lobbying to get diplomatic recognition for Taiwan. The Taipei Act also mandates the USA to safeguard Taiwan in case of military aggression. Last year, Lam reached the lowest point of her career as the Hong Kong pro-democracy protests exposed her failures. Lam, who was overconfident, pushed for the highly controversial extradition bill which allowed the extradition of Hong Kongers to the mainland. There was no doubt in anyone's minds that the CCP would use this bill as a weapon to punish dissenters of the CCP regime in Hong Kong and bring them to justice in the mainland. The CCP was already battling accusations of how it kidnapped its naysayers from across the border and made them mysteriously disappear in China. The extradition bill would have given the CCP a legal cover. If Carrie Lam had the best interests of Hong Kong in mind, she would have never pushed for the bill. Hong Kong was in no mood to sell its soul to the CCP like Carrie Lam and it took to the streets and protested against the bill, which caught the attention of the world. The subsequent brutal crackdown on the protesters caught the global media's attention, which saw Lam under increasing pressure. Lam finally cracked and in September, withdrew the bill. Lam, who has publicly claimed that she admires Xi Jinping the most out of all leaders, recently blamed Hong Kong's liberal education system for last year's protests. Lam has claimed that students need protection from being poisoned and fed false and biased information. Moreover, Lam wasted no time in towing Beijing's line as soon as she assumed the reins of Hong Kong. In the local legislative elections, Lam started disqualifying all pro-democracy candidates who pressed for self-determination. 
In July 2018, Lam banned the pro-independence Hong Kong National Party under the garb of sedition. While Lam is determined to destroy every last shred of Hong Kong's autonomy, Tsai has steadfastly refused to accept the One China policy and has been proven to be a calm head. Tsai was re-elected with a landslide victory earlier this year. She swept to power after she supported the Hong Kong democracy protests as her party garnered over 8 million votes, while the opposition Kuomintang folded up with less than 6 million votes. Carrie Lam had a chance to redeem herself by tackling coronavirus, but yet again she ended up being the CCP's loyal puppet. During the initial outbreak of the virus, Lam refused to pay heed to growing demands of banning travellers from mainland China as she claimed that such a move would be discriminatory. Lam's response to the virus again shows that she does not have the best interests and safety of Hong Kong in mind. Compare that to Taiwan's handling of the virus, Taiwan has made giant strides under Tsai with most notably being her stupendous handling of the pandemic, which has shot up her approval ratings to an all-time high of 61%. Taiwan, despite its proximity to China, has reported only 440-odd cases of the virus with seven fatalities, which has got the eye of the world. Hong Kong needs a leader like Tsai Ing-wen to protect its autonomy, not Carrie Lam.